Hello, good day. So in this tutorial video, you will learn about valid arguments. And here is our learning competency. So at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to determine whether an argument is valid or not using a truth table. Now let's consider this example. If triangles A and B are congruent, then triangles A and B are similar triangle. Triangles A and B are congruent, therefore, triangles A and B are similar. Now, class, this is an example of an argument. And our, uh, an argument composes of premises and conclusion. Now, in this example, our premise, there are two premises. So, first premise would be, if triangles A and B are congruent, then triangles A and B are similar triangle next is the premise 2 which is the triangles a and b are congruent now our conclusion is triangles a and b are similar so take note lang na kapag ka meron tayong uh, therefore hence yun na po yung conclusion so this again this is an example of argument because it composes of premises and a conclusion now let's symbolize this um, argument so first is to identify the statement so we have the statement triangles a and b are congruent so we're going to let this as our p another statement is triangles a and b are similar triangles so this so this will be our q now dun sa next premise natin as you notice triangles and a a and B are congruent. It's just the same with this first statement. Kaya P na lang din yan. Also with our conclusion, triangles A and B are similar, which is our already our Q. Now, if we're going to symbolize this, let's use the premises and the conclusion. Now, we have come up already that premise 1 is this. Okay, so remember, our premise 1 is a conditional statement because of the word if and then. So, if triangles A and B are congruent is our P, then this implies or an implication, then we have triangles A and B are similar triangles. So, ito yung Q natin. So, the symbol for premise 1 would be P implies Q. Next, premise 2 is just a simple statement which is already our uh, P. Triangles A and B are congruent. So this one is just P. Also with our conclusion, triangles A and B are similar. So this is our Q. Now to symbolize this argument, the whole argument, we're just going to um, write each premise and conclusion. So since our premise one is this, then we just have to write it down. Then, premise 2. Ngayon, pagka-conclusion na, we'll just have to use itong symbol na to. Okay, pag-conclusion. So, this is the symbol for this argument. Next, let's have our example number 2. If Sian studies, then he will pass the test. If Sian does not play internet games, then he will study. Sian did not pass the test. Therefore, Zian played internet games. Now, there are three premises here. Okay? So, we're going to identify each statement. Zian studies or Zian will study is our P. Next, he will pass the test. That's our Q. Next, Zian does not play internet. So, this is our R. And then the next statement will be he will study. So the same lang dito sa P. Okay, CN studies or CN will study. The next premise would be CN did not pass the test. So since this one is a negation of R, so a negation of uh, Q rather. So Q na lang yung gagamitin natin. Okay, and then yung conclusion natin, CN played internet games which is already our R. So, therefore, there are three statements in this argument. Now, let's symbolize each premise. 
premise 1, if CN studies, then he will pass the test. So again, this is a bi uh, conditional statement because of the word if and then. CN studies is our P. He will pass the test is Q. So therefore, we have P implies Q. Premise 2 is this one. Okay. If CN does not play internet games, okay, again, this one is a conditional statement because of if then does not play internet internet game is just the negation of r we have the negation of r then he will study which is p so not r implies p next premise is cn did not pass the test so if q is cn will pass the test did not meaning the negation of q and our conclusion cn played internet games so this one cn played internet games is just our r now to symbolize the whole argument again just to write down all the premises and the conclusion so one p implies q two not r implies p not q and the conclusion would be our r using this symbol now let's proceed to validating arguments arguments are analyzed by considering their forms and an argument is said to be valid if and only if the truth of the conclusion follows necessarily from the truth of its premises. That is, if we're going to combine all the premises using conjunction and uh, we're going to combine all of these premises using uh, an implication to the conclusion, conclusion, Now let's proceed to validating arguments. Arguments are analyzed by considering their forms and an argument is said to be valid if and only if the truth of the conclusion follows necessarily from the truth of its premises. That is, if each of the premises, so supposedly we have many premises and we're going to combine all of these premises using conjunction and an implication to its conclusion at kapag kang lumabas ay tautology, meaning true lahat, then that argument is valid. Now, sometimes an argument is written in the form uh, this one. So, we had actually um, done this one in the previous example. And one way to determine the validity of an argument is by constructing a truth table. So, dapat ngayon, ngayon, ay alam, alam na ninyo kung paano gumawa ng truth table. Now, let's use our first example. So, i-validate natin kung valid ba to or not using truth table. So, we have already symbolized this argument. Okay, so this is our, this is the symbol. Now, gagawin natin is to first identify how many statements. So, since we only have P and Q, then we have two statements. So, yun muna ang gagawa natin ng column, ng truth table. So, we have two columns, one for P and one for Q. So, for P, we have true, true, false, false. And for Q, we have true, false, true, and then false. Now, the next step is to add a column. At anong ilalagay natin dito sa column na to? So, of course, we have the premise 1, which is yung P implies Q. Now, tandaan ninyo na if we have an implication, magiging false lang yan kapag ka yung P natin ay true at yung conclusion natin na Q is false. So, itong row na ito is the only one na false. Bakit? Kasi true false. Okay? So, true, true, we have true, true, false, false. False, true, true, and we have false, false, true also. Next, since we already arrived at the premise 1, gagawin natin is to add another column. So, at para saan naman tong another column? Of course, we have P1 and P2. 
So, yung P2 natin, ito yon, which is P. So, itong column na to, yung premise 2 natin. So, we're just going to combine P1 and P2 using conjunction. Okay? So, ano yung magiging uh, statement natin dito? So, we'll have P implies Q, so which is the premise 1, and P, which is the premise 2. Ngayon na class, ang titignan natin is the premise 1 and the premise 2 using conjunction. So, true and true, that's true. False and true, that's false. True and false, that's false. True and false, that's again false. The next step is to add another column. So, para, na, para saan naman ito, eh, wala ng premise. Of course, we're going to arrive at the conclusion Q. So, we have P and P2. P1 and P2 implies C, which is the conclusion. So, ganyan naman, gagamitin natin as, is an implication. So, meaning, we have this, okay, implies to our conclusion, which is yung Q natin. Okay? So, again, pagka-implication, magiging false lang siya kapag ka yung premise is true, at yung conclusion is false. So, we're going to see first this column going to Q. Okay? True implies true is true. False implies for, false is again true. False implies true is true. Next, false implies false is true. Now, as you notice, the last column is a tautology, meaning all true. Now, if this happens, then this argument is a valid argument. Now, let's proceed to our example number two. A while back, we have symbolized this argument as this one. Now, there are three premises or there are three uh, statements here. We have P. Q and R. So, you have learned already that the corresponding table, if we have three statements, is this one. Okay? And then, since we have a negation of R here, then we had just have to add negation of R. Negation meaning just the opposite. Next, we have also negation of Q. So, we're going to add Neg uh, negation of Q. Next, we're going to add the first column, which is the, the, the premise, which is P implies Q. So, again, alam nyo na kung paano kunin yung value using an implication. So, ang titignan natin is the P and Q. P imp T implies T, of course, true. This one is true. TF. Okay, again, TF is false. TF is another false. Next, as you notice, the premises here are uh, false. Then, of course, this will lead us to a true value. Okay? So, true na lahat yan. Next, we have already the premise 1. The next is to proceed to premise 2, which is not, <coughs> which is not R. Okay? Not R implies Q. Okay, so ang titignan naman natin una is the not R going to P. So, false implies true, that's true. True implies true, that's true. False implies true, is true. True implies true, is true. False implies impl false, is true. Okay, TF, that's false. False, false, true. True, false, or TF, that is false. Next, anong gagawin natin dito sa P1 and P2? Okay, sabi natin kanina, we're just going to add or combine these two premises using conjunction. Okay? So, i-combine muna natin siya bago tayo mag-proceed sa conclusion as a premise 3. Okay, so end using these two columns. True, true, that's true, 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 false, true, okay, false, this one is false, okay, this one is true, this one is false, this one is true, 
and again this one is false now if we have already combined the first premise and the second premise ko combine naman natin siya using the third premise okay since ang third premise natin is meron na tayo dito okay ito yung third premise natin tinat q so ang gagawin lang natin is to combine the premise 3 okay yung not q so ito na yung magiging value natin okay paano naging ganito yung value so itong column na to ko combine lang natin using conjunction doon sa not q true and false that false true and false again that's false false true false false and true false true and false that's false false and false um false true and true that's the only true false and true that's false ngayon nagagawin natin since we already used all the three premises we're going to proceed to the conclusion which is r using this column okay ang gagawin naman natin is implication so we have okay so this and implies to the conclusion which is r so ito yung conclusion natin okay so ito yung magiging symbol niya okay so using implication this column going to our conclusion and yung conclusion natin which is r okay so false true that's true okay so itong premise natin itignan natin niya itong premise natin is false so meaning lahat, ni, lahat na na ito ay true okay true 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 so titignan natin ito yung premise natin is true pero tignan natin kung, kung yung conclusion if it is false yung premise natin is true yung conclusion which is r is true so meaning pag true implies true that's again true next okay this one is false implies false that's true now as you notice this one is a tautology so meaning this argument is a valid argument okay so that's how are you going to validate an argument using a truth table now thank you for listening god bless and stay safe everyone